What up, what up? Happy Wednesday. Happy belated Valentine's Day. And no, I didn't forget about you guys. I've actually been MIA for a reason. So let's talk about it. Um, it's been about like five days I've been in my head, but it gets me to my um, subject today, which is you have got to starve the narcissist. What do I mean by starve? Am I saying like food? No, but they don't eat regular food. I mean, they will eat you out of a house and home, but the food I'm talking about is your energy, right? And I had stumbled across uh, an avenue in which my ex-narc was um, recently very much stalking me on. And I was like, you know what? Not only am I going to deactivate that particular avenue that I was being stalked on, but I'm going to have to starve this bitch because Valentine's Day was on the way. And what I'm not going to do and what I refused to do was allow him to harvest my energy even through these videos that I make for y'all and for myself, right? And then use it to give that energy, <clears throat> excuse me, to the current supply. So um, I was like, you know what? Even though I really want to make these videos, I'm going to not make these videos for more than a couple days. Because leading up to Valentine's Day, I don't want you to be able to see what my current thoughts are. And that's totally valid to me. Um, speaking of that, the thing about narcissists, okay, I know that you guys probably enjoy your social media, okay? You don't have to listen to what I'm saying, but please do listen to what I'm saying if you can, okay? The thing is, dude... Like when you have Facebook, when you have Instagram, when you have TikTok, when you have YouTube and all those things, right? They can still see your post, obviously, even through fake accounts. So you got to ask yourself, how bad do I want it? How bad do I want to not be around this person? How bad do I want to disconnect? And what am I willing to sacrifice to do that? I sacrificed five days of making these videos, okay? But I love y'all so much. Like, I actually missed you guys, like, a lot. So, I'm like, I will make them. But I did I did pray and ask God, like, hey, when? let me know when I can make another one. And it was today. But anyway, um, cause, and I did promise you I'd go through the holidays with you. Okay, let's go back to what I'm saying, though. I deleted my Instagram. And I'm going to delete my Facebook after I retrieve pictures, photos that I really want off of it. And then that's done. I don't even use it. You know what I'm saying? And TikTok, I rarely make a video for that. I kind of watch it just for entertainment. So, like, that's not really an issue. And this, I'm never going to give up on you guys. Period. So, we ain't here. But, no. Nah, let me tell you what disconnecting does to the narcissist, okay? Disconnecting, as in pulling your energy away, as in don't post where you're going on Facebook. Don't post who you're chilling with. Don't post that new outfit, even though you look adorable as fuck or really handsome or cute or whatever in it. Don't post it. I know you really deserve for people to see you in it, but do not post it. Why? Because they are watching. The narc is watching and the flying monkeys are watching. And guess what else? They don't deserve to see how dope as fuck you look in that outfit. Why? Kill your ego and up your spiritual awareness and your discernment, okay? We're going we gonna to push the ego. <clears throat> Let your ego give you head, bitch. Fuck that ego, okay? So what's going to happen is what I'm just going to say without even being across the street where he live at now with the dumb bitches. I can tell you what happened on Valentine's Day, and this was my plan. And I know he's watching this, and he's going to be mad and salty as fuck, but narcs are always salty as fuck, and no one cares about their feelings because they don't have them. Oh. So anyway, um, my plan was, look, I'm going to starve that bitch. I'm not going to post anything on any arena, right? All the way up until Valentine's Day, and even on Valentine's Day was especially the day I wasn't going to post anything because you want to see me. Why do you want to see me? Because you need my energy so you can give it to those bitches, right? Okay, well, no. So what happens when you don't give your energy? 
guess what their Valentine's Day probably looked like across the street? He probably, and more than likely, did what all narcs do. Number one, didn't even acknowledge that it was Valentine's Day, right? Even if you don't celebrate it, come on, bitch. You know you want to at least acknowledgement on that day, right? They didn't acknowledge that shit. You think he acknowledged those bitches? No. Not only did he act like it wasn't Valentine's Day, more than likely starting an argument to deflect from the fact that he didn't give a fuck about it, didn't get them shit because he's a broke-ass motherfucker and you're dealing with two dumb broke bitches too, right? And so you didn't get them shit. And what else did you not do? Um, You didn't give a fuck. And guess what that means? When you pull your energy back, guess what that narcissist has to do? They have to give all that pent up, shitty, negative, fucked up, I I hate your guts energy to the current supply because you are not there. Your energy is not there for them to siphon from nor for them to project to. Right. And I knew that shit was a buildup because I stopped posting for a while. So I knew not only was he mad, not only was he irritated, not only was he anxious to see what the fuck I was doing, where the fuck I was going, what the fuck I was wearing, who I'm wearing it with next to, what am I doing? And I didn't give it to him. I didn't give it to him because guess who he gave that pent up bullshit to? The bitches across the street. You have no choice, bitch, but to give it to them, not me and you cannot blame me because i was not there ooh, ooh. So anyway that was ghetto as fuck but i liked it i did i liked it so anyway yeah so don't give them your energy let them wonder what the fuck you're doing so they can give that pent up horse shit to the current supply dude you gotta play chess not checkers out this bitch right so that's what the fuck I did. And now I'm back. And I have so many videos planned for you guys because I love y'all. I love y'all to pieces. I'm not going to get into that because I, I, I'm i sensitive. I will cry out this motherfucker. Y'all are my babies. You're not babies, but you're my babies. Okay, and I love you. And if no one told you that yesterday, I love y'all. Like, literally, like, actually love the fuck out of y'all. So anyway, yeah. And guess what I bet he did? What he did was not buy them shit didn't give a fuck, didn't have money to cook shit, so they probably had to feed him, didn't um do anything but wash his ass with their soap, whatever they had in that vacant apartment. And then he walked over to them, pulled down his pants and whipped his dick out, that crusty ass, herpes encrusted, AIDS infested dick out, and put it in their face like a motherfucking microphone and told them to speak into that bitch. Yeah, give me head. You should give me some head now that you did not earn and expect them to suck it. And they probably did because they don't have any self-esteem. So that's what your narc did. If you were wondering, what did that ex-narcissist do this Valentine's Day? I bet he showered or she showered that person with A, B, and C. No, they opened their legs or squatted down and put a crusty dick in that person's face, expecting them to suck it. Or she opened her legs and put a fishy-ass fucking platter from the, the underrealm in their face and expected them to go to town, Charlie Brown. And they probably did it because they just want to keep them for whatever reason. Right? Yeah. No, that's not how that's supposed to go. All right? We ain't doing that out here. Yes, it's another year. Okay? So, like, when you feel like it, and I hope you do, take some time. Eliminate social media. If you know, come on. Like, Instagram, who gives a fuck? Delete that shit. Well, I don't want to delete it because it's mine and I ain't going to let that person make me delete my... No, you delete it because you ain't going to let that person look at your ass. You will always come back to the shit later. But for right now, delete your energy from social media. And that's what I did. So anyway, I really love you guys. I'm going to make another video tomorrow and the next day because... I owe it to y'all, but that's where I was and that's what I was doing because I know for a fact that me pulling back from doing what I'm doing right now caused him to fight with the current supply. And you know what I love the most secretly about them all living across the street? 
is that God will let you see people fall, especially when they deserve it. And so how would I see it? Even if they close the blinds, they didn't close all the shades and shit. I already know that's what they used to do when they were actually living there with furniture, by the way. I don't give a fuck if you close the blinds. I already know what's happening in there because I live with them. What I love about him living there is when they actually all live there, like, you know, the two girls actually have furniture there, He and he wasn't homeless yet, he was allowed to pop in and out and tell them whatever he wanted. He could tell them, hey, I had to work late today. Hey, I was with a friend today. Now that he's homeless and he's solely dependent on those two bitches, now, bitches, you get to see that all he does is fucking lie, sit on his ass, not go to work, sleep in late till like one or two in the afternoon. The fuck? right? And then wake up and eat up all your food and ask you to suck a dick here and there or in everywhere. Sound like Dr. Seuss book. I suck a dick here and there and everywhere, right? That's what the fuck y'all get to see. You get to see who the fuck he really is. And I love that shit. I'm like McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving it. Except for his ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Go eat a dick, you stupid bitch. So anyway, yeah, I'm so glad that they they are learning now what it's like when you actually wake up to that motherfucker and go to sleep to that motherfucker every day. And while he's laying on your little couch or whatever little makeshift bed you done set up for that red ass bitch, you're sitting there working from home, babysitting this motherfucker, right? It's not cute. See, now you know what it's really like when you live with him. Now you know what he really does. And now you know what it's like for him to shit on you every day while you're providing and he is not. Anyway, I love you guys. And I hope that you didn't accept a Hoover the other day for Valentine's Day. If you did, brush that shit off. Forgive yourself. And don't the fuck do it again. You understand? My mistake face. All right? Don't do it. Okay? And I love you. I really actually do like love y'all. Okay. So anyway, um, I'll see you tomorrow. And sorry I was late, but I had to take care of some shit. I had to starve the narcissist of my energy. Bye guys.